Welcome back to the channel. Here's my top seven reasons for joining the Based AF community and becoming a Based Head. So if that sounds good to you, slam down a can of frads, pound that like button, oh! and let's get into it. Let's fucking go! Are you ready for the show? Reason number one. Based AF is one of the only Web3 projects that is not tied directly to Web3 prices. Allow me to explain. The ongoing success of Based AF does not really depend on selling people more things, or rely on the greater fool theory like the majority of existing Web3 projects. Most NFT projects today with little to no substance rely on ever increasing prices, so existing holders can dump their bags on greater fools. Not very liquid right now, but I, I, can, I can hook you up with some NFTs, bro, some Ooh. NFTs. Ooh. Now some projects are better than others and may generate yield in a secondary crypto token. However, the problem with this model is, is that the token's value is generally at the mercy of the broader boom and bust crypto cycles and is often used as a mechanism for venture capital and early seed investors to dump on retail participants. Based AF has no such token. A key point of difference with Based AF is that at its heart, it's actually a content creation studio and YouTube channel. Based AF plans to be your MTV of the metaverse, documenting the human experience with emerging technologies in playful and wildly entertaining ways. And it has a sustainable advantage other competitors could only dream of. The team has built a bleeding edge, bespoke yet enhanced version of the set from the James Cameron movie series, Avatar. The Avatar movies are two of the highest grossing movies in history, even though they were released 13 years apart. And the digital playground and motion capture studio based AF has created is now essentially their office, available for content creation anytime they like, with literally unlimited potential, allowing them to perform from virtually anywhere, as anyone, or anything. It's a unique selling point and defendable moat for the team. The Motion Capture Studio allows Based AF to live stream as virtual characters from any stunning Unreal Engine 5 gaming environment they can dream up. And it can be done in real time with both physical and virtual props. If that's not impressive enough, it'll also act as a virtual time machine. Wait, God. A three-dimensional snapshot in time of the space they perform in which the team can alter in any mind-bending ways they see fit in post-production. Like this. allowing for even more content creation after the live event has taken place. And to my knowledge, no other team or channel have the technology nor the expertise to pull off these types of performances, let alone build out a competing studio. Being in such a unique position should allow Based AF some compelling partnership deals, adding to the bottom line and allowing special deals for Based Head holders. And when the channel scales up and starts pulling in meaningful YouTube AdSense revenue and Twitch subscribers, it will find fun and unique ways to share the spoils with active Based Head holders, and in some cases, even allow them to star in the content. And that brings us to reason number two, of the potential benefits for based head holders, as sharing the spoils is the third pillar of the creator economy. But what about the other two? Well, let me explain. The first pillar of the creator economy is to create an audience, and the team is going to lean heavily into the explosion of interest in artificial intelligence and combine it with the recent game-changing announcement from Epic Games. Epic is enabling and rewarding user-generated content by sharing 40% of the spoils to content creators using their fully featured Unreal Editor for Fortnite. The more players that use and enjoy your creations, the more revenue you can expect to receive. And Based AF will be one of those creators. This will allow the team to flex the Based AF intellectual property of Trashland and the associated direct-to-consumer brands, not to mention their YouTube and Twitch channels, to an absolutely mammoth gaming audience. With Fortnite alone having over 500 million registered users and 74 million monthly active players. That's a huge market to go after. So what is some of the intellectual property of Trashland? Let's dive into a bit of the lore. The fabled tale of Karma, who is both the king and queen of Trashland, began on one fateful night in November 2022, at an event known as the Great Onboarding. Karma lured hundreds of the web's most egregious influencers to Trashland on the promise of the world's best party. Excitement quickly turned to horror as the influencers were brutally augmented with ampler flanges metaverse antennas forcibly installed in their skulls. The now converted based heads 
were put to work to shill the satirical brands of Trashland under the direction of Karma. So how does this relate to the creator economy again? Let's circle back. So build an audience, monetize the audience, and then share the spoils. Along with the substantial YouTube and Twitter revenue and exclusive partnership deals, this is where the direct-to-consumer brands come in. The brands of Trashland, as shilled by Karma's army of based heads, now come into play as these brands will evolve into real-life, direct-to-consumer businesses. Physical production runs are already underway for Fraz, the beverage line of Trashland, and inaugural sponsor of this channel, thanks Fraz, and DGAF, which stands for Don't Give a F**k. DGAF is the edgy apparel line of Trashland, allowing based AF fans the world over to walk with the assured based as f**k swagger in real life. Being able to create cultural significance around these brands is yet another source of revenue for the Based AF project, allowing even more spoils to be shared along with the physical products themselves. Before I continue, a quick word from our sponsors that make the show possible. Introducing Fraz Cola, the world's premier beer flavored beverage. It's Fraz, delicious, highly nutritious with a top secret recipe that's so delicious. Nothing beats the buzz of a cool Fraz Cola. What are you waiting for? We're getting Fraz to the NAS. Consume at your own risk. Symptoms may include and death. And that brings us to value prop three. Three mints of all direct to consumer products for life awaits the wallets that hold at least one of each of the six brands of Trashland. On top of Fraz and DGAF, the remaining brands are Random Instant Noodles and their popular line of ramen, Big Dollar Noodle, 8008135 pronounced boobies, bar and grill, Head Crank, the high-end ampler flanges worn by prominent based heads, and of course, Shithead, the hair products line of Trashland. Now, of course, nothing in this video is financial advice, but at time of recording, a full set of six would set you back about 400 US dollars. Reason number four, community engagement. By having aligned incentives, where base heads holders are encouraged to actively participate in promoting based AF, you have a core group of loyal and engaged community members. This provides a solid foundation for the team to build upon. And not only is direct feedback from the community well received, it's actively encouraged, fostering a spirit of co-creation and mutual ownership. For example, the Dildo Dash game was a community suggestion as a fun Web3 way to drive awareness around the project. In response to the hype created around the Board Ape Yacht Club's minigame, Dookie Dash. And as a result, the shaft was erected and written into based law. Based heads will be able to participate in a social yet competitive metaverse experience as they try to ascend the rigid communications tower at the heart of Trashland, also known as the shaft, to win prizes. And in typical Web3 meme-worthy fashion, the giant concrete penis-shaped shaft was tagged with community-made graffiti. And while this particular activation might not be everyone's cup of tea, <laughs> We can expect several other metaverse experiences to spin up over time, allowing base heads to directly participate and earn prizes along the way. And one such base head has already received an all expenses paid trip to Amsterdam where he met the team and went on an in real life date with team member Tom Letts's wife, destroying his marriage in the process after successfully winning a metaverse dating show as a giant mushroom no less. I just saw a gigantic mushroom commit suicide. What the based? Reason number five, a safe space to learn, create, and share. With the recent explosion of consumer-facing AI tools, such as Midjourney and Dali for image creation, ChatGPT as a repository of all the information of the internet, and advanced voice and video cloning tools, such as Eleven Labs and DID, the Base Heads community has taken to creating based flavored content like a duck to water, to the point where the community's collective learnings, trials, errors, tips and tricks, are documented and discussed in real time in the various community Discord channels. This shared collaborative experience has resulted in constant content for the community to enjoy and iterate on, and having a safe and supportive space to explore one's creativity with all this new emerging AI tech is one of my favorite aspects of the project. There is always something going on and thought-provoking conversations to enjoy in the Discord. I should add you do not need to be a base head holder to join in on the action on the public areas of the Discord server. In fact, if the cost of a base head is out of reach, you could potentially earn one from your own consistent creative efforts via a process known as the threshing. Think of it like the metaverse's version of The Apprentice. I'm sorry, you're fired, get out of here. Reason number six, floor price. Now I never feel particularly comfortable talking about asset prices. However, it's worth noting that the mint cost 
of a base head was 0.08 ether or around 105 US dollars when the 10k collection minted out in just hours in early January and currently the floor price is around half of that of the mint price but there are only around 45 base heads available below the actual mint cost in US dollar terms and 82% of holders have held for three months or more indicating a largely long-term focused and loyal group of holders. So 15% of holders have accumulated between four and 10 based heads as they work their way up to becoming a sixer. As mentioned previously, being a sixer holds extra special perks. For each physical and digital drop from the direct to consumer lines, one per sixer wallet for the life of the project. On top of this, sixers receive special insights direct from the team in a token gated section of the Discord server. They even have their own website and digital radio station. And we can expect to see more community initiatives from the sixers come online in Trashland, the based AF metaspace as it comes online. And that brings us to reason number seven of why I hold a based head, ongoing utility. As based AF continues to scale, we can expect a bunch more Web3 and Metaverse focused utility, with each based head being a fully 3D rigged and Metaverse ready avatar. Along with this, we can expect the based heads to create their own branded content, leveraging the intellectual property that based AF readily represents. And by utilizing programs such as Hallway and the Unreal Editor for Fortnite, the barriers to meaningful content creation are getting lower every day. Also in the pipeline are other gaming experiences that will allow the base heads to start to earn Quan Bucks, the in-game currency of Trashland. Quan Bucks should allow base heads to experience and unlock other activations and functionality while boosting the depth and provenance of their characters. Based head holders will also enjoy the perks of partnerships and special discounted access to both physical and virtual events. And collaborations with other existing Web3 communities seems very likely. With the project having strong links to Monaverse, Crypto Brokers, The Futureverse, Walker World, and Remark, among many others. The Shaft opening night dance party and VJ set with the Broadside community is a perfect example. So as you can see, there's much more than meets the eye with based AF. And I can safely say that being a part of it is the most fun I've had in four years of being in the space. So don't be afraid to jump into the Discord and join in on all the fun. It's linked in the description below this video. And remember, stay based. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and maybe consider watching one of my other videos. Bunnies up.